today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to tame an Arctavis in Ark, right? I am a very experienced Ark player. I've been playing this, you know, since I was a very, very little kid. <laughs> and, um, you know, since the dawn of time, before it even came out, right? The pre-beta, right? So I, I know what I'm talking about. And this is the essential way, the most effective way to tame an RG, right? So very first thing is you're going to need a couple things when you go to actually tame an Argentavis, okay? So let's look into my bird. You're going to need a long neck. Right, uh, to actually tame the Argentavis. You can use a crossbow, but the crossbow has a 3% chance of actually killing the RG. So I would just recommend to use a long neck, okay? You're going to need at least 25 tranquilizing darts. Dodex says you only need 18, but arc lags, it de renders, doesn't register, hit registrations, but it's just bring 25 at least, okay? Next, you're going to need some dinosaur gateways. Uh, you only need three of each and and dinosaur gates. Uh, make them out of wood. You don't need to build them out of stone. Uh, yes, the RG can damage, you know, wood, but it's not going to take... The RG's not going to destroy it before you tame it. And then next is a spyglass to make sure you're taming a high-level uh, RG because whenever you go to tame anything in this game, 99% of them, you want them to be high levels for all the benefits that it provides, okay? As far as food... That you are going to use when you go to tame this guy, right? Uh, an order from most effective to least, least effective is going to be superior kibble, raw mutton, raw prime meat, and raw meat. And those are really the only four foods that you should actually use to tame this guy. Um, if you're using superior kibble, it's going to take 23 minutes uh, to tame. Using raw mutton, it will take 27 minutes to tame. Prime meat will take 33 minutes to tame. And raw meat will take an hour and 36 minutes to tame. Okay, now, when you're using these things, note that the Argentavis takes a long time to wake up. It takes an hour and 36 minutes to wake up. So, if you're using mutton, kibble, or um, the prime meat, then you don't actually need any narcotics. So, now we're actually going to get into the taming process. So, to tame these guys, you're going to need a little bit of a trap. I don't recommend just to go and, you know, shoot them, like out in the sky and stuff because then they just run away from you nine times out of ten and if you miss one shot or it just de-renders then your whole RG just disappears and it's gone and it's just not good so you just want to build a little trap like this one uh, three dinosaur gateways uh, side by side by side um, you only need three you don't need any more than that build uh, put a door on one side of it and then make one of them just big enough that way you can walk through it but not big enough to where the RG can fly through it so I'm just gonna come um, here, I'll actually put it on this side. Why not? I'm going to come right over here, and I am going to spawn in the RG. It's going to be level 150 RG because, you know, this is the best stuff possible that we're going to be taming. And he's just going to come follow me. Oh, boy. Well, he just, look at that. He just kind of uh, disappeared. Let's try this again. There we go. Come here, buddy. Just run right over here to your trap. You know, kite him in real good like a little, you know, rabbit. And you just walk right out, and then boom, it's done. Like that. Might take a hit or two, but that's it. And, you know, that's good. <laughs> right, he is he's completely trapped. And as you can see, he's destroying the wood. But then you just start laying into him with your long neck. So it is all good, right? He's just a simple knockout team. Easy, easy, peasy knockout team. Um, once he is trapped, you know, you just shoot this guy until he goes to sleep. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to shoot him until he goes to sleep. And then I'll be right back with you. All right, he is down. Boom, boom, shakalaka. <laughs> right, he is down. So once he is actually down, as you can see, the unconscious meter, do not let that depreciate to where he wakes up. But that's probably not going to happen um, if you're using kibble, meat, or whatever. Um, if you are using uh, raw meat, it'll probably take, like, you'll probably need, like, 10 narcotics at the very end. Just a little bit. You only need, like, seven more minutes of him being sedated. So it doesn't really take a lot to... A lot of narcotics to tame this guy, even if you are using raw meat. Uh, if you're using superior kibble, it'll only take six. You know, I spawned this stuff in, so I'm just going to put 92 in. But, yeah, so just put your superior kibble in. You know, come back uh, 20 minutes later. Make sure he doesn't get attacked. And, you know, bada boom, bada bing, you got an RG. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for him to wake up. And I'll be right back with you guys because this guy has some super, super, super cool unique abilities that I need to talk to you about. All right, perfect. So he is up. Okay. <laughs> So, when you get your RG, the first thing you should do, of course, is slap a saddle on this sucker, you know, and go and take him out for a ride and enjoy him, okay? But, as far as stats-wise, as what you want, okay, and what you want to level, first thing is wait, right? It's a little bit of boost that's over here, so I can't really give you the good stats. Uh, I believe that melee damage, though, is really, really good. Um, 
for an RG of this level. Anyways, what's it called? Generally, what you're going to use Argetavis for is for farming. Okay, these are great farm dinosaurs for a couple of different reasons, okay? The main reason is the fact that they can hold lots and lots and lots of weight. Uh, definitely not that much weight, but they hold lots of weight. So, typically the idea is you'll... I don't have a buddy with me right here, but... You'll have your buddy on an Ankylosaurus, right? He'll be riding this Ankylosaurus, and you pick him up, okay? And t picking up on an Archie is very sketchy. It's not very good, so it's going to take you a few tries and definitely a little bit of practice. And here we go. So once you get up, then you just bring him over to, like, the rocks. Hypothetically, let's just say these are metal rocks. And you just bada-boom, bada-bing, swing, and there you go. Okay, and that's how you farm. Um... So there you go. This is why this guy is super important. It's just for that reason right there is to go and farm stuff. Okay, but also a couple of things that the Argentavis can do is it's a smithy. Uh, literally, it's a whole smithy, right? As you can see, you got like, I got folders and stuff in here. If you take it off folder view, I can start crafting stuff. So let me just throw some stuff to make some flat chest beats. Boom. Craft a whole new set of black armor, <laughs> right? Um, one other cool thing that the Archie can do is it has, and also it can craft while you're flying, right? So that's really, really cool. But it also has rapid regen. And what I mean by that is if your Archie's like low on health, for instance, let me just, you know, sorry, Archie. <laughs> if you pop him in the face real quick and he's low on health, if you come to a dead body and eat it, he'll actually get this thing called rapid regen. And as you can see, I have a 20 second healing rapid regeneration buff the top and look how much my health is going up with this little buff going on so if you can kill stuff or just even harvest dead corpses you could really heal this guy really really quick um also if you pick somebody in an argentavis right these guys tend to do a good bit of damage i mean a lot of times if you get if you're like on foot and somebody picks you up in an argentavis you're kind of screwed even with a whip because it is hard to whip you off the back of an Argentavis. So they're great uh, war dinosaurs as well. You know, definitely not the most ideal. But um, as far as war dinosaurs, they're definitely more used for farming. Um, but that's super, super cool. Other things to note about the Argentavis is it has some huge weight reductions. Okay. Again, another reason why for farming. For Here are its weight reductions. Black pearls, 50% less. Crystals, 50% weight reduction. Metal, Metal ingot, both 50% weight reduction. Obsidian, 50% weight reduction. Agornic polymer and polymer and stone, all 50% weight reductions. So that is huge. Um, it, however, if you are doing the metal farming technique with the Argentavis, do not move the metal that you'd acquire from the Anki onto the Argentavis. And the reason why I say that is because the Anki actually has an 85% weight reduction. So you want to leave the the metal on the um what's it called on the anki and not on the rg so but yeah that's uh pretty much you know everything that there is to know about the rg uh there's only one more thing to know about the rg and that's that you can attack well you are picking something up so when something's in your claws you can actually attack it and as you can see i'm absolutely just smoking that thing even though it was a low level come back and get your raptor regeneration boom this is what I'm talking about. They're great. They're great little war dinosaurs. They're great farming dinosaurs. Definitely not the best uh, in each category, but they're awesome. Definitely, if you're playing on an official server or, you know, a server where there's not an infinite weight, uh, every single tribe should have, you know, a set of Archies. If you are on an infinite weight server, then these guys kind of fall off quick because it is their weight that makes them super useful. But that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, if not, may God bless you all.